when I wrote Pitch Anything, I just wrote down the things that worked for me in my life to close deals, raise money, all that kind of thing. But since I wrote it, it has changed millions of people's lives and I love talking to individual people. I recently sat down with Sam from Wake Up Warrior and heard how he got into Pitch Anything, what he liked about it and how it's changed the way he works. Listen to this. So yeah. uh, origin story is uh, my background was oil and gas, 15 years, and uh, had my own consulting company and been part of like, part of like, it's a massive fucking industry. It's an industry where, where no matter how much you do, you always feel that you're not enough because it's just like you're dealing suddenly with a guy that's holding seventy billion dollar budget and like, oh, I'm meeting that guy for breakfast. So fast forward later, I'm uh, working with Garrett inside of Warrior, and we're we're trying to establish like this frame around. How do we bring in clients to experience what Warrior has to offer? And inside of that, Gary's like, hey man, you should read this guy's book, Oren, and Pitch Anything. A couple of things that stood out in, in when I was reading, I specifically remember, when I because when I read, I study. One was the science of how the brain functions. Uh, you know, I've always been good in math, always been good in physics, and I've always had an interest on like just science and maths and how number function. So I'm always open to understand scientifically how things work. As you started describing around the theory and all, the guy that's sitting on the couch waiting for the meeting to take place, right? You're the guy that comes in at 10 a.m., the meeting's at 10 a.m., you're there 15 minutes early. Just showing up 15 minutes early, you're putting the frame on yourself that you're, you have a lower status, right? And, and all that is at 15 minutes is just like, you making yourself lower and lower and lower. It's an attack on your certainty. It's a pure attack on your certainty. Doesn't matter how, how much you know about your product and services, your certainty is being attacked in that 15 minutes. So for me, that, that hit me really hard because I've been in so many situations where I put myself in there, right? It's, I understand organizations, yeah. I understand structures, and like I put myself in there. And when you said in the book that there's a possibility to reframe, dude, you introduced us to frames and it's who it's part of, like I would say if I was talking to myself and my team and everybody else that works with us and this is what we live every day, it is part of our character today. Like the word frame is probably the, 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 the most thought about and the most said in our daily language. So what we're, I think what we're going to do next is you guys are using frames that exist. Correct. Right? I think what we're going to do with our time together is build frames. Yes. Right? B where, where there's just these do not, we're establishing these do not cross yes. lines. Right? Yes. And, and uh, you, you know, an invisible fence. Yes. Right? And, and so once somebody starts wandering out of it, you can literally go, we're not talking about that. Yes. Right? Because you've established Correct. the boundary. With confidence. If you like the unique way that I think and frame things, then subscribe here and click the bell for notifications. And make sure to join me, Orrin Claff, at Instagram.